there is nothing or absolutely nothing anybody's going to tell me that there's no beef going on between the google pixel and the iphone tech company watch this video check out this panorama of the tetons and now check it out at night and now check it out compared to another smartphone camera <laughs> Look at the detail, sharpness, and color. It's amazing. In all in one sick panorama photo that goes all the way up to 50 megapixels of resolution. Recently, Google Pixel launched their Google Pixel 9, Google Pixel 9 Pro, and Google Pixel 9 Pro XL, and most importantly, the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold smartphone. And this has really raised a highbrow on Google Pixel. It, it has made a whole lot of people to focus so much on Google Pixel because of some of their great features in this, their smartphone. Some people say it's just a software-based smartphone, but I don't think so. Even though we know Google Pixel has been one of the best in terms of having some of the best software, but in terms of hardware, it's quite difficult for them to actually to be able to meet up with the criteria or every kind of hardware in which people are looking for but in this year's launch of their new smartphone the google pixel 9 series there has been a whole lot of buzz on their smartphones most especially the google pixel 9 pro food which is actually another great mobile smartphone from google pixel and this year we've seen that there has been a whole lot of ai inventions starting from the galaxy ai from Samsung, then we also have the Apple Intelligence, which is the AI from Apple. And now we have the Gemini from Google Pixel, which is actually a great improvement from these tech companies. But I believe this year hasn't been a year whereby they create good hardware and all that. But there has been a whole lot being said about software, most especially the invention of AI, which Almost every tech company is actually talking about, most especially the big tech companies, both Samsung, iPhone, and Google Pixel, and every other smartphone tech companies. They have all been talking about this AI, AI, AI. But I think this year has been a year for AI, not so much on the hardware, but mainly software. So now we're going to be looking at what are the features which is actually on this Google Pixel 9 that makes them unique and makes them different from every other smartphone so now one of the first feature in which i would like to talk about after looking at their live conference one of the features which i would like to talk about is the circle to search which i think samsung galaxy ai started this circle to search whereby you can be able to circle in whatsoever you are you see on your screen you can circle them and it can be able to search for all the search for anything gives you full details full explanation of what that particular image or that particular thing looks like and what it does just a full explanation which you actually need that's what this circle to search can do and another good feature in which i see on this google pixel is the satellite sos the satellite sos i think i it started from the huawei pura 70 ultra the satellite SOS is actually a good improvement whereby if there is no signal on your mobile smartphone, you can actually send SOS emergency for them to be able to like get to be able to track you. It's a free satellite connection where, which is actually connected to your smartphone with that you, you can't get lost. Another great thing in which I see about this Google Pixel smartphone, the 9 Pro series that was launched is the Gemini Assistant. The Gemini Assistant is just like the Galaxy AI, or you can also put it the Apple Intelligence or the Apple AI. Is a voice assistant that can be able to give you answer, give you direction. But with this Gemini, is more relatable in the sense that it's it's a voice assistant that you can have a direct conversation with, maybe you want to ask something or you feel lonely you can be able to have a live conversation with this gemini ai that's what makes it very unique we've seen the apple ai which they launched recently which has 
some of these AI features. So I think these tech companies are actually focusing on AI inventions, which is more least softwares. They are not focused so much on hardware because we've seen the Galaxy AI with these same features and we've also seen the Apple AI, which is also, which also comes with these same AI features, which is which you can also compare to this Gemini, which is actually good. But what makes the Gemini more interesting is the live conversation, whereby you can be able to speak with the assistants just live, have say whatsoever is on your mind, and you can be able to interact with these AI softwares. I think it's very good. But one problem I have is. All these AI stuff, all this AI software works with your internet. Another great feature is the Add Me feature, which I so much love on this Google Pixel. It's not, you can't get search on the Galaxy AI. I think, I, I'm not too sure if you can get search on the Galaxy AI or on the Apple AI. I think this is a software upgrade from Google Pixel. This is what I mean. When you snap a picture, when you take a picture, maybe you want to add someone and maybe there's an instant, there's a story I would like to tell. There was a father that wished to attend his daughter's graduation in a different country, whereby he had to travel. But when he went to apply for the visa, they rejected him. And when they took the picture, they couldn't include the father. And you can see that such events is a memorable one and it can only come once in a lifetime so with the google pixel the camera with this ai feature you can be able to that's the add me feature you can be able to snap the picture and while the person in the other part can also you can also snap the other person and with that you can add the person to this picture i think is a lovely feature which i think is very good you can get these things on the samsung galaxy ai and the apple ai so I think this feature, the admin feature, is very good and is a great improvement from Google Pixel, which is something I love on this Google Pixel 9 series. And another part of it is the fact that this Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold, it has one of the best display, best display in terms of picture quality and a very good display, camera display and all that. So one of the reasons why I said Google Pixel has beef with the iPhone 15 Pro Max is the fact that in the live conference in which they had, they were most of the features in which they were lighting, they were mentioning uh, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. They are comparing their Google Pixel 9 Pro to the iPhone 15 Pro Max to show that the Google Pixel 9 Pro features is more advanced in terms of picture and video qualities. That's when you are looking at both Samsung, you can see that Google Pixel has one of the best night mode cameras. And camera generally, I think Google Pixel has one of the best. So now with all these features in which I've highlighted, you leave it in the comment. Let us know. Do you think Google Pixel actually have a beef with the iPhone tech companies, the tech giants? So leave it in the That's comment and let me know. And Thanks. make sure to like, share, and don't forget most importantly, subscribe.